Hey there everybody, what's going on? It's Austin from Boss, and welcome to the GT1000 Ultimate Guide video series. And in this video, we're gonna be going over how to use the GT1000 here as an audio interface and as a reamping tool. So the USB on the GT1000 is not only just for using it for control from the Boss Tone Studio app, but it can also be used to record high quality audio directly into your DAW or your audio recording software. And reamping is basically taking a dry recorded audio track unaffected and sending it back through a piece of gear and editing the tone in post. And reamping is a cool way to get the technical aspect of playing down and then use the GT1000 in post to adjust your tone as you're listening to it. To get the GT1000 working with our DAW, we need to make sure that we have the GT1000 drivers installed for the computer that we're using. And you can refer to the video of how to connect your GT1000 to a computer, tablet, or phone for driver install information. We wanna make sure that we got our guitar plugged in and then all we need is our USB cable and our computer. Okay, so now that we got our GT1000 connected via USB to our computer, we go ahead and open up our DAW here. The DAW I'm using right now is Ableton, but this can be applicable to any other DAW that you're using. And inside of preferences of every DAW, you should be able to set the input and output devices. So make sure you have this set to the GT1000. And once you have these set to the GT1000, you should start hearing sound coming out of the headphone output of your GT1000. Otherwise, if you don't wanna use a set of headphones with the GT1000, you can also set the output device as a separate sound card that might be routed to a set of studio monitors or maybe just the internal sound card of your computer to use your computer's headphone jack. You have six inputs and six outputs. So these six inputs are as follows. One and two is gonna be your main or your quarter inch outputs. Three and four is going to be your dry, unaffected sound. And then five and six is going to be your sub outputs. This makes it easy so that way if you have any other routing schemes inside of the GT1000, you're able to record those as well. Now that you know what your inputs and outputs are, let's start making up a track list. I'm gonna set up one track as a stereo track one and two to record the main output of the GT1000, and then I'm gonna set track two to input three to record my dry sound. All right, now that we have audio recorded for both a wet and a dry sound simultaneously, we can now take that dry sound and now reamp it by sending it back through the GT1000 and out through the DAW. So what we're gonna do is, inside of our DAW, we're going to route that track that we recorded our dry track to directly to the same output of which the input was occupied. So if you're using track three to record your dry, then you are going to send that dry track through output three. In this process, you wanna make sure that direct monitoring is on. So to make sure that that is on, we press menu. We go to in and out settings and then we go to USB audio. And then we can use the arrows or the page buttons in order to scroll back in to make sure that main direct monitor is out and or sub output direct monitor is out. This will take the audio that you're using in that dry track to run it back through the audio system. This is a master setting, so once we have it set, it's all pretty much done. We can now arm a main output track here and re-record that audio through a different preset. And that's super cool that you're able to use the GT1000 as an audio interface as well to record all of your dry tracks and all of your wet tracks at the same time. So even if you don't like the sound of what you had played or what you had recorded that day, you can always take that dry track and resend it through the GT1000. And as you can see, I can run six individual paths for recording with different effects and so much more. And that is how you use the GT1000 as an audio interface in a DAW and as a reamping tool. Thank you so much for watching.